Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to Inner Stage Window, my Saturday stream. How are you guys doing today? Uh, welcome in, Justara, welcome in. I would love to know if you wanna tell me how did you find my stream today? You're here so early, new friend, oh my gosh. Um, well, we are of course today doing more of our hardcore WoW Warlock run. Uh, we've done this for a couple of Saturdays now. We're up to level 13. And um, um, Justara from Hearthstone. Oh, oh, okay. Hello. How is it going? How is it going? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have not uh, logged in to that character in so long. <laughs> I've been obsessed with hardcores. And, uh, and, I'm, and I'm back on Horde. Sorry. <laughs> Not really, but maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. Well, how have you been? Thank you so much for coming in today. Uh, let's actually go ahead and jump into the game. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm sitting on the throne right now because like, because I'm king. I'm, I'm king, obviously. Uh, currently grinding a horde priest on hardcore. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. I, uh, I, I am, me too, not priest, but I've got a warlock and I've got a druid. So here's, here's our lovely warlock. Here's our lovely warlock here. And, um, First thing we need to go do today is uh, is progress that prodigal lich uh, quest right here. So we're gonna we're gonna do hardest boss in the game once again. We defeated it before, um, but this is round two. Anything could happen. So you know, let's see. Okay, here we go, you guys. Oh, there's a victim right now. Walkie Soba. Oh, poor Walkie. Poor Walkie. What race is your priest, my friend? Is it undead? Because in my opinion, undead starting zone, best in slot. Okay, best starting zone, undead, for real, for real. Okay, where is this guy? Okay, he's over in the magic quarter. So let's go over this way. <laughs> Hello in game too. Hello in game. Um, yes, that's too funny. <laughs> I've got chat covered on screen, but our, our new uh, friend Justora just whispered, whispered me. <laughs> Too bad whispered lols don't um, trigger the, the laughing emote. Here, let's just let's just give an actual laugh. <laughs> I love it. I love her voice. <laughs> She's great. So yeah, we're back at it again. We're back at it again. We're at level 13 right now. Um, I, on my druid that I've been playing off stream, I surpassed my original. So Nyan Kitty is now level 23. So she surpassed Nya. Um, so I did delete Nya. Nya. She doesn't exist anymore, boo. Um, but you know, she was dead. So she didn't really exist anyways. So Nyan Kitty has now surpassed Nya. What? And um, that's where I am with that. Okay. So that's turned in. Um, now we got to go talk to him. So this guy, this guy's story is so interesting because basically he is a forsaken on this little island and he doesn't understand that awakened forsaken exact it actually exists. Like he thinks he's unique. He thinks he's like one of the only undeads that actually knows what's going on and is conscious and isn't just like a slave of the Lich King that isn't a part of the scourge, you know? And uh, so we have to go help him out with understanding like, nah friend, other Forsaken exists. You are not a beautiful, unique snowflake. You need to come join the horde. So we gotta go tell him. We gotta go tell him so that he knows, uh, so that he's not so lonely. Cause nobody wants to live lonely on an island forever. I mean, maybe some people do, but you know, usually they go to Alaska. And he's out on an island in Silver Pine. I mean, not Silver Pine, um, Tears Fall Glade. So, you know, you don't want that. Also, in between streams, I worked on my trade skills just like I did in between streams last week. So um, I'll show you guys where I am right now. So my enchanting is up to 103 and my tailoring is up to 104. I've got my cooking and fishing maxed out for this level. Got to level up more to get more of those. Um, first aid, I'm at the point of using wool, but obviously I don't have much wool <laughs> yet at level 13. So it's kind of like stuck at 80 right at the moment. So that's where my trade skills are. <clears throat> so we're going to go back to this area 
And where we left off last time, we were killing some spiders, um, but uh, the venom drop was really low, so uh, we didn't finish that. <laughs> uh, we did kill a bunch of spiders, but we didn't get a single drop, so hopefully the drops will be a little bit better today, and, uh, and we'll be able to complete that quest. <laughs> so that's what we're going to go do first. So I hope everybody is having a absolutely lovely weekend. Um, I had a really lovely three-day weekend last weekend. We were off on Monday. It's um, it's uh, American Labor Day, I think. Canada also does Labor Day the same day that we do. Um, so that's what we that's what I was doing. We had burgers for Labor Day. It was delicious. Um, and then I had a short work week. And uh, and this week though is a is is a normal week. Sadly, <laughs> it's a normal week. Sadly. Um, I have to admit, I am not <laughs> keeping up with the Cat 5 hurricane coming our way. I don't really know what's going on with that. So if anybody wants to tell me, you can tell me um, about my imminent demise. But, uh, but my husband is keeping an eye on it, so we will evacuate if that is needed um, for that hurricane coming next week, supposedly. I don't know. The last I saw was several days ago, and it's either coming for us or it's or it's turning and going north. Um, and then I was like, yeah, no, I don't need those updates. <laughs> and so I stopped watching. I figure I will catch back up when it's actually relevant to me. So yeah. Oh, goth mommy. Congratulations, goth mommy. Let's see. Is this... Is this a dirty alliance? The goth mommy is a dirty alliance. I can't believe they have the name goth mommy and they're playing dirty alliance. That's so wrong. Gross. Obviously, Horde is full of goth mommies. I can't believe they would like usurp our <clears throat> our culture that way. Undead breath is like the best. I don't like being having issues underwater. So undead is good. Druid is also good. And then of course on our warlock, we're gonna be able to get the new um or get the spell. So we don't have to worry about underwater breathing at all. Okay, here we go. Here's his little here's his little lovely island. Here's his little, little lovely island. Um oh, also in between streams, I upgraded our wand, greater magic wand. Oh, and I've got a 10 pound mud snapper. So um that's cool. That's cool and neat of us. Okay, so let's do this before we get into into it because he's gonna make us fight. So let's get our, our blueberry out. Let's get our little blueberry out. Yes, okay, Belknack. Hello, Belknack. Hello, hello Belknack. I'm gonna also, um, let me adjust my computer volume. It's a little loud. Okay, Um. let's also, let's also buff up. Let's buff up Buttercup. Get a health stone. Now that we have those. Okay, let's bind him. All right. All right, we're buffed up. Congratulations, Boggle Warrior. I assume you're a dirty alliance as well, though. Not even gonna check this time. All oh, alliance. All right, so for this guy, what we need to do is we need to loot this book. Oh, maybe he doesn't make us fight quite yet. Okay, we need the book. Oh, and then we have to go back to Undercity. That's right. Okay, well, while we're here, let's um get some shards. Gimme, gimme, gimme your soul. I would like to have it. Thank you. Appreciate you. You're the best. Your soul too, please. I would like. Thank you. Aw. You want to give me your soul too, sir? I really appreciate that. I guess since your friend couldn't give me his soul, you would be a good replacement. Let me have it. Thank you. Okay, let's get one more soul. I would like to have three, I think. wand him up a little. Oh. 
Okay, three souls. I think that's enough. I think that's enough souls for the moment. Alright, let's head back down to Undercity. For whatever reason, the um, Rested XP guide doesn't have you do this quest. I, I wonder if it's because there's like so much back and forth to Undercity that it's like they feel like it's not time efficient um, and it's easier, it's better to skip because the reward and the, the time that it takes. But um, I like to do all the quests, you guys. I like to do all the quests. I mean, you already know, we already went off script on this little guide thingy anyway by doing extra quests in Durotar. So um, that's how we're doing. That's how we're doing. I thought for a second that might be our new friend, just Starro, but no, that's a different person. Maybe we pass each other, but no. Alana, congratulations. Okay, wait, I need to check if this is Dirty Alliance. Alana, yep, Dirty Alliance. Okay. Let's see if this Boggle Warrior is also. Yep, Boggle Warrior, also Dirty Alliance. I heard it was something like like um, three fourths of the server was Alliance and a one quarter was Horde or something like that. Ah, oh, different layers. Just star. I hate the layers. Oh man, I bitched about this last stream, but like, I think there's too many layers. Too many layers. I don't, I want to see like everyone running around like all crazy. Like on day one, oh, when I made my first druid on day one, it was like a sea of torrents, just every fucking where, like torrents everywhere. And then they put on layers. I'm like not, I'm so not about it. I'm so not about the layers. Here, let me, um, oh, I don't have layer hopper installed on this computer, so I don't even know what layer I'm on, if I'm on a better layer or a worse layer than you. I was about to say, like, let me invite you for layer, but, like, I might be on a shit layer. <laughs> I might be on, like, layer 10 or something. My first tomb was a druid. He died at 19 in a dead mines group. <gasps> no, you went all the way to dead mines and died? Oh, no. Yeah, I, uh, I, I did some... Um, Ragefire Caverns groups, and then like I witness in the um, in the hardcore Discord server and in the um, Defias Pillager Discord server, like some drama from um, WC and from uh, Dead Minds groups, and I'm just like, ooh, huh, hmm, yeah, I'm not about that. Uh, and I think maybe I'm no, I'm not doing dungeons now. Um, Unless, like, it's convenient for me to go with my guild or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, because, like, yeah, no. <laughs> the nonsense, the nonsense that goes on in, like, the, um, the caution channel is, like, ridiculous. Dead Mind Quest on Alliance side the outside the dungeon have killed a lot of people hyper spawning elites in that undead area. I bet, right? Like that little, that little like undead patch. Um, yeah, okay. I would not, I'm not surprised they have crazy hyper spawns in that little undead hallway area. Oof, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, gross. No. No, thank you. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So yeah, I think I'm no dungeon. I think I'm no dungeon. It's just, it's just too much. You know, it's just, it's just too much. It's too risky. There's already things that I do to myself that gets my blood pumping too much. Cause I can't stop taking risks sometimes. I can't stop myself. Um, I don't want it to be from other people. I do enough to myself. <laughs> I do not need others to help. So yeah. Oh, just Dara, by the way, if you are interested um, in my streams in general, I will let you know a little bit about what we do. Um, the Hardcore WoW, like, cause it, cause it came out official, we're playing it, but we don't normally play MMOs, though we do normally play games from this era. Play games from a lot of 90s and early aughts games is what we play. Like right now on Sundays, we're playing Final Fantasy X-2. We also have a 100% playthrough that I've, that I've done in, in the past of Final Fantasy X, um, Majora's Mask. We did a, um, Pokemon, uh, Fire, no, Leaf Green, Nuzlocke, 
Um, we also do a lot of dating sims, and we play a lot of Sims 2. Uh, Sims 2 is probably my most played game on the channel. Uh, all these years later, it, in my opinion, it's still the best Sims game, and so that's what we play. Dying to someone else's era makes me never want to do dungeons again at the minute. Yeah. Yeah, what the... Like, no. <laughs> it hurts enough when you die of your own error um, and your own stupid mistakes. When it's like someone else's stupid mistakes, I just like... I just don't... I don't think I need that stress on my soul. <laughs> like, my soul is stressed enough from my own nonsense. I don't need this. I don't need this. So... Oh, that's, oh, that's like, what a edgelord name for a warlock cut myself. Nice, dude. Good name. Good name for a lock. We do love to self-harm. Um, that's a, a key lock, uh, warlock feature. Uh, that sounds fun. I've been 100% wow most of my life. <laughs> I want to play other games. I just always seem to come back to Azeroth. I know what you mean. There's certain worlds, right? And so, like, that's why I'm here. Like, like I'm loving classics so much because, like, wow changed. So, here, I will tell you my wow story. I was hardcore, like, hardcore wow for Vanilla, for Burning Crusade, and for Wrath of the Lich King especially. Wrath of the Lich King was like, oh, that shit was my jam. Oh, this shit was my jam. Um, I played a druid in vanilla, a torn druid. Um, and then, of course, when Burning Crusade came out and they had blood elves. <laughs> I had to make a blood elf warlock. He was the best. Oh, my God. I loved him so much. So I played that. And then, like, from there, like, I played a bit of Kata. But, like, <sighs> it didn't hit the same. I played a bit of Pandaria. <sighs> it didn't hit the same. And then other expansions, like, I don't know. Like, I've come back here and there to play, like, little bits. Um... And so, but then, like, the hardcore scene started popping off a couple years ago, right? And I didn't want to play hardcore, right? But I did, I was, like, vaguely interested. And then, like, I don't know, there's, like, the bug bit me a couple months ago, and I was like, I have to play WoW again. I have to play WoW. I have to play Classic WoW again. I have to do it. And so that's when I rolled up Shira um, on Alliance, that you know her, from Hearthstone, and, um... So yeah, and then I was like, oh, I love this. Oh, but Alliance feels so gross. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's just true. And then, um, so then when these classic um, hardcore servers, official hardcore servers came out, I was like, I'll try it. I'll try it for a stream. And honestly, like I'm loving it so much. When Nya died, uh, my druid, I went to bed that night saying like, I don't know if hardcore's for me. I think I might just transfer her and just keep playing her, whatever you know, whatever, I can't handle it, it hurts. And then I woke up the next morning and I was like, no, no, we go again. And then I made Nyan Kitty. Um, so yeah, haven't died yet on the Warlock, although we're only playing her on stream. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it was similar, played WoW since vanilla launch, maintain a rogue and a mage, basically carried those through every single X-Pac till Classic relaunched in 2019 and played that um back up to wrath and then fell into hardcore scene yeah yeah there's just after wrath wow just doesn't it doesn't hit right you know it just doesn't um there's something about the first three expansions that's just like mm, oh it's just so good it's just so good like the world is so good the game is so good um like in wrath the class balance is mm, so good but there's something about the leveling experience of classic that's just like it's like unlike any other era of WoW where, you know, you're not playing to get to the end game. Like you really are just playing the game and experiencing the world and in being immersed in Azeroth. And I just love that. Like, I love that so much. Like, I think most of the games that I love so much is really about like get, making me feel immersed in the world. I love the slower pace of questing and grinding. Yeah, and it actually feels like meaningful. You know, it feels meaningful in a way that doesn't feel meaningful later. Okay, so now he's saying like, prove your shit to me. I think you're a liar, liar, pants on fire. Um, and he's like, go kill this this little bitch over here. So we're gonna go kill her. Um, first, we're gonna kill all the thingies on the island. So we clear it out. So let's clear them up um, with this. Goodbye, shambling horror. You don't deserve life. Sorry. 
Retail is far too in-game focused and meta focused if you don't play meta. Yeah, and like that's what I remember about Classic. Like there was a meta, there's always been a meta. Anybody telling you there was not a meta in 2004, they just, they don't remember. They were a child at the time or something and so they don't remember, you know, but there was. Uh, but you didn't have to play the meta. You know, you didn't have to go on ThoughtBot and look things up, you didn't have to. Um, we did, <laughs> but you, it was not necessary to like do well. You could even raid just fine and uh and be invited to raids and it not be a problem without doing all that like that was how it was you know and that's just not how it is now it's not how it is now and i i know, I know wrath was kind of the start of the end of that um with gear score and and things but like you know i still liked wrath i still liked wrath a lot you know but there was something about like going and getting the Lich King and like actually killing the Lich King that was like so appealing. The story and like the way that you feel in the world that after that just didn't exist. Like why do, I don't care, like killing Deathwing, like whatever. Like it's nothing, it doesn't feel like anything. It doesn't feel like anything in the story. He doesn't feel like, he doesn't feel like a, um, uh, uh, like an existential horror type of creature, you know, like, um, like, um, uh, Cthune, I'm trying to remember the WoW names and not accidentally say the like the names of what they're inspired on. And then what's the guy in Old War? Um, and the one in, in AQ, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, so like, yeah, it's just not, it doesn't hit the same. Eldritch Horror, that's what I'm thinking of. Like it doesn't hit, Kata just didn't hit the way, Deathwing didn't hit the way the Eldritch Horrors hit, didn't hit the way that this like the story bosses hit, it just didn't hit um, for me. So, yeah. Who's this? Strom. Strom is our f is fishing. <gasps> oh no! Icy bubble! Level 13 while in the decrepit ferry. Slain by Fenwick Thantros. Poor Icy bubble. Poor Icy bubble. I feel like he died around that level last time and it was- and you just re-rolled. It's in my guild so it popped up. <sighs> Rip. Oh, he deleted fast! He goes offline left guild. <laughs> Man, you deleted fast, my friend. Okay, we're gonna go over to these spiders. Oh, you got a Trico! You got a Trico, that's so cool. I love the little the little Pokemon chat game. I love the Pokemon chat game, it's really fun. We added that when we did our, our leaf green Nuzlocke. So it's good up, good stuff. Who's online in my guild right now? Probably nobody, yeah, nobody. <laughs> Nobody. It's a small guild, but they're nice. They're nice. They're nice. They're nice dudes. And uh, they're really season of mastery players. But it was one of the first like non mass invite um, guilds that I saw advertised for Horde side. So I joined it. Never seen that before. Yeah, it's whenever a guildie dies, the death log will pop up like that. Where are you running? Someone fighting down there? Wee. Oh yeah, someone fighting down there. Pepperoji. Good luck, Pepperoji. I wish I could buff you, but I can't. Oh, the Pokemon thing. Oh, yeah, that's really fun. It's really fun um, chat game. I think some a lot of streamers have it, but maybe because I play so many role-playing games and stuff, I just see it a lot with other like RPG streamers. Um, a lot of RPG streamers will have that Pokemon game. Let's run up this way to get to the spiders. All right. Well, you're in my way, my dude, so you have to die. I'm sorry. That's just how it goes. Um, the lesson is don't get in my way. I'm very new to streaming. I literally just know how to basically click go live. <laughs> Hey, that is all you need, my friend. Like, people fancy the shit up, and I'm not gonna lie, I've fancied my shit up over the years, but like, it's really not necessary. I've seen some very popular, um, very low um, quality streams that are carried simply by the fact that the person that's um, doing them is just like very good, entertaining person. And sometimes that's enough. Sometimes that's all you need. You just gotta be entertaining yourself and be cool to hang out with.
All right, let's try this again with the spiders. Get some venoms. Tasty, tasty venoms. For the new plague that we need to inflict upon Azeroth to create more Forsaken, since we cannot actually um, reproduce. So range. it's very important that we continue the, um, the viciousness and pestilence of the plague for our species. Because of course it is the desire of everyone to propagate their own species. Hey, we got some venom this time. Yay, got one out of four. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, these potions, by the way, that I have, they came from, they came from Nyan Kitty. She's an alchemist, so that's why I got potions. I made them myself. You're doing great, Belknack. You're doing great, Belknack. Keep tanking. Man, wands are so OP. Wands are so OP. If you can get the greater right at level 13 when you can use it, it's like, mm, oh my god, it's so good. This one that I'm holding, I think a guildie actually made me. I can make my own now, but I think, yeah, Susie made this for me. Thank you, Susie. But I can make them now so I can, like, pay it forward and make people wands. Still gimme, gimme, gimme your venom. forgetting my corruption's not quite instant yet. Slow down, Karen. Slow down. You still have a cast time on your corruption. Not for long, though. Not for long. One more point. Uno mas point. You can't move around when you corrupt things. Although it's better when you can. Yay! Unamas. Come here, Mr. Spider. I just want to kill you. It'll be quick, I promise. Pew! 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 Hey, there we go. Okay, so now we need to return. So let's just hearth back so we don't have to run all that way. Also, oh, okay. I am following you, Justara. I must have um, I must have seen you follow me or something. Okay. Um, let's go turn in. We turned in a bunch of the things that it's saying on the step anyway. But we're gonna turn in the new plague. Plague. We traded in the Hearthstone Discord. Oh, okay. It must have been. I have a terrible memory for certain things, so. If it was like a couple of weeks ago, then I just straight up forgot. <laughs> uh, but I, I am kind of vaguely remembering that Discord conversation. It was before launch happened. Oh yeah, definitely. That's why I don't remember. But I do sort of vaguely remember that it, conversation like that. So I'm sure that it happened and I'm just silly. Okay, I think for this is one of the ones where we go in the basement. Yeah, I think we are hanging out with our- yeah, 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 okay, time to hang out with our dwarf friend. Let's give him this drink. I hope he likes it. Oh, he loved it! Yes! Um, a little too strong on that plague, though. Killed him instead of turned him. We're gonna have to try again. Uh, such a shame. Okay, travel back to N Linnea. Where's she at? Oh, I think I've done that, though. Yeah, I've already done that. Turn that in. 
So we just gotta go up to Agamon Mills. But um, give me like two seconds. I'll be right back. You guys don't go anywhere. I just I just have to go pee. I'll be right back. I was feeling um, so sleepy this morning. I had my tea early and uh, yeah, I drank it like way too fast and I let it seep way too long. Who is this? More Isti. Alliance. Okay. Um, all right, let's go back up to the mills. Gosh, that's kind of scary though. Do we do that? I think we wait on the mills. Okay, here's what I think we're gonna do instead. Um, we have not done the Mulgor starting zone yet on this character. So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna do a Baron's run. I think we're gonna do a Baron's run, guys. Do you think we can make it at level 13? Do you think we're gonna run into problems trying to run through the barons? I hope not. Um, if the elevator, if the Undercity elevator is the hardest boss in the game, this is probably second hardest boss in the game. Baron's run. At least it's easier than what Stinky Alliance have to go through with uh, with uh, their like crazy run. Okay. Yeah, I think. I think let's do it. Let's do it. Baron's run. Baron's run. Thank you, thank you, Justara, for your vote of confidence. I think I can do it too. I've done it before at this level. I had a practice run. I had a practice run character that was a undead warlock, and uh, and I did it around this time on her, and it was fine. So we'll see. I'll sub when I see you in the crossroads. Okay, okay. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted, my friend. We'll do it. We'll do it. Who's this? Greg, Greg Rockle Game, Greg Rockle Grain, thirty-seven. Oh, while we're doing that, let's look through the death log. One in Strang. Why the fuck is a level one in Stranglethorn Vale? A level one troll, level fifty-seven. Nice, bro. <laughs> was is it was this some kind of stream challenge run? I feel like this much a level one in Stranglethorn. What the heck? Cold Core Invaders, there's Cold Core Invaders, man. Fucking scary. Vile Fin Puddle Jumper. Man. What quest do I have? I have Conscript of the Horde. Lieutenant's Insignia. Yeah, that's a scary one. That's a scary one. Trying to get the Arena Grand Master Trinket at level one. At level one. <laughs> Please, that would be um, a very entertaining stream. Swiftly did it on launch, really? Man, I guess on launch everyone's distracted with actually playing and so they're not, <laughs> they're not trying that strat. But holy crap, holy crap. I mean, I get it, like it's forever before you get a trinket in this game, but also like, what? <laughs> Why? Uh, for content only, I think it would be a very fun stream. Like to do without an audience though, like, what? <laughs> I don't get it. I guess if you love to throw your life away. Let's see, for a troll to go through Stranglethorn, I guess they would have to like, they'd have to run through um, Durotar and the Barrens to get to Ratchet. And then they'd boat over to Booty Bay. And then they'd run north from Booty Bay. That's how they'd have to do it. Like, definitely an easier run for Horde than for Alliance, but still, like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, because you'd make it out of Booty Bay, like, probably no problem. You could probably at level one um, dodge mobs up Durotar and then down to Ratchet. You could probably do that. Um, just dodge the crocodiles in the river, right? You just dodge crocodiles in the river and then you could do it. But like, once you get to Booty Bay, going north from Booty Bay up to up to the arena area, I just don't see it. I don't see it. Not doable unless you have someone die for it to make it. Yeah, okay, so you'd have to have a friend come with you, get the gorilla aggro, die from the gorilla aggro so that you can run past the gorillas. Yeah, that's, that is how you'd have to do it, because otherwise you cannot. You could not make it past those gorillas. It would be impossible. It would be totally impossible. Yeah. You'd have to have a sacrifice. A sacrifice friend. It's 
Zeppelin's here. Time to fly. I'm the king of the world. Sometimes a little blood needs to be spilled for greatness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently you can jump off the Zeppelin towers and survive, but I'm too scared to try it. I'm too scared to try it. But apparently you can. Oh, this person, AOE time. That's a good mage name. To a deviant creeper in Kalimdor. Thank you guys, good luck staying alive. Good last words. <laughs> Maybe they were in deviant creeper. I guess they were in the outside Wailing Caverns area. Later. Much later. To bail done. I see a lot of people around this level dying in southern um, barons to those bail duns. Bristle back. <clears throat> My tissue box has some more tissues in it, but they fell down. I thought I was out for a second. I was going to have to go get a new tissue box, but no. Okay, we're back to Land of the Red. Land of the Red. We love it here. Okay. So for this to work, we have to go over here and then run through the barrens down to there. Right there into Mulgor. It's going to be a long run. It's going to be a long run. There are many obstacles in the way. Lots of centaurs that would like to kill us. Um, some That alliance pat by Camp Tarajo definitely would like to kill us. We're going to have to dodge it all. We're going to have to dodge it all at level 13. We've got, we've got our blueberry here. We've got our blueberry and we've got three souls in our pocket. Got our health stone. Got some potions. We can do this. We can do this. We're, we're, we're kitted out. Christmas cat. That's a good name. Christmas cat. Halloween cat. Okay. Gotta remember I'm level 13. Because I've been in the Barrens quite a lot as Nyan Kitty. So I gotta remember I'm level 13. So I'm a little bit more vulnerable than what I've been playing on my off-stream character. Okay. Oh, we have glue and stuff, too. We have glue, the skull, our slumber sand. Okay, so we got those. We got those, too. So we can make it. I don't know. Um, I don't think the Alliance could be glued, though. I bet you they would resist the glue. <clears throat> Elemento. Oh, don't know how he died. I wonder why this mod sometimes like just doesn't tell you. It just shows the location. It doesn't tell you what got them. It doesn't say like fall. Like it'll say it doesn't say fall drowning. It doesn't say a mob. It just says they died. I wonder why. I don't really know how this mod works because I never really played like the hardcore mod, like the unofficial hardcore. So I don't really know anything about it. Traveling through Orklands. Look at all these broke up. These all these broke up like um, vehicles. The harpies did that. The harpies did that to the poor orkies, you guys. That's how we had to kill them before. Very important. Hmm. 
Who dat? Oh, Queen just sniffed my toe. <laughs> I felt wet on my toe. <laughs> I was like, what's that? It was Queen. Yeah, that's you. Hi, Queen. Hello, baby. Where, come here. Come here, I'll pet you. Come here. There you are. Oh, don't run into the wall. There you go, Queen. Yeah, some pets. Are you having a good Saturday? I hope so. I hope so, baby. Yes. She's having a good Saturday, you guys. She is. So I have a question for y'all. I have a question. I'm going to ask this question probably a couple times. Um, and I need to ask it like on Twitter and in the Discord too. But anyways, today was the last day I had like planned to stream hardcore because I really didn't know like how quickly I would die or whatever. And I thought like I'll go to all till I die or I'll do like these three streams. This is stream number three. So my question is, after this stream, do we play more hardcore? Or do we go back to our normal Sims 2 legacy? I've got a straw poll. I would love if you guys could vote that are in the chat right now and tell me what you think we should do. Um, because like, I didn't really know if I was, how quickly I was gonna die on hardcore, like how it was gonna go, you know? So I would love to have your opinion because next week we're doing our regular like media podcast, you know, it's gonna be um, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes episodes. I'm very excited. I'm so excited to talk about the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes with you guys. Um, and no spoilers on my opinion, but I'm so excited to talk to you guys. It's going to be a really good stream. So, of course, we would do that. And then normally I would stream Sims 2 Legacy. Um, but we could stream more WoW afterwards if y'all want. But I would need to know what you're into. So, I just want to know, like, do we go back to our regular Saturday game with the Legacy Challenge? Or do we do keep going with this hardcore WoW and just, like, literally, like, keep going until we die? Because we could do that. We could like just keep going with um with Karen Terry the Warlock until she dies. Cause I'm a little bit torn about what I'd want to do. Queen just climbed up on the window. I think it's out of frame for you guys, but that's why I had to turn around for a second. There's the barons. There's the barons. I've been watching a lot of like death clips and like clutch clips and things of um hardcore wow. And man, the ornery plane striders in the barons like come out of nowhere and just destroy people. Just absolutely wreck people. So I'm a little scared that we might come across an ornery plane strider. <laughs> a little scared. Um, so yeah, uh, pray for no orneries, pray for no orneries. That's what I would like to have happen. Okay. Let's go ahead. You know, since we're running through, since we're running through, let's go ahead and accept this. What do you need? Go yes. Okay. Cause this will take us, we'll turn this in at crossroads. Um, I know that the demon seed thing is there where we have to, but it's like a, it's got a timer. Once you pick up that little crystal, it's got to be um, 30 minutes. You have to go up the mountain, and I'm not going up the mountain right now. I'm not going up the mountain right now. We got to be way more prepared for that mountain. Um, oh, level 41. Oh, that hurts. Ooh, Zari Caudal in the Badlands. Well, that sucks for a troll mage. Ouchies. Ouchies. That would suck. Lose your character at 41. I'm so glad that there's free transfers to era servers. <laughs> Because of the fuck. I mean, it hurt enough at level 22 with my druid. I can't even imagine in the 40s. So we're in the barrens. This is it. We will, if, you know, depending on how long this warlock survives, we'll spend a lot of time in the barrens. It's a really lovely zone with lots of um, lovely things to kill you. Um, lots of wildlife. Uh, lots of cool boars, harpies, you know, all kinds, all of our favorites. 
all of our favorites. This is a good plane strider. We love him. Um, fleeting plane striders, those are good. Okay, it's just the ornery ones that are a problem. Look, they've got they've got zebras called zebras. Look, they're unicorns in this game. I love that the zebras are unicorns in this game. It's the best. <clears throat> There's some Quillbor friends over there. We kill you later. We kill you later. Raptors, no. D dodge, dodge that nonsense. The Raptors are also really dangerous because most of them will be like 13 to 15, right? And then there's like random, like level 17, 18 ones, just like single by themselves amongst the 13 to 15 ones. And so like you'll be fighting Raptors and you'll be like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Because all of a sudden you pull one that's like way higher level. Jane, hello. Jane, how are you today? Yeah, Jane, I think that the people who have come in so far are not regular, so they didn't know about the first. So you got a, a coveted a late first. Congratulations. Are you having a lovely Saturday, by the way? Happy to be here. Oh, I love it. Okay, wait, Jane, you have to answer this poll. You have, you def I definitely need your opinion. Today was the last planned WoW hardcore stream for Miss Karen Terry here. Um, our little warlock, and I just want to know, like, do I continue it? Like, next week we're doing uh, our media stream, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, we're going to talk about that. So afterwards, do we play the Legacy Challenge for Sims like we normally do? Hey, there you are. There you are, Destora. Um, and, or do we go play more of this? What do you think? Where are you at? How can I tell where you are? Just says undead priest. I guess that. Oh, there you are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hello. Justora. <laughs> you said, wow. Okay. Justora. Hello, friend. Wait, we have to have a dance off. Thank you, friend. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. And a prime. I love it when you make Jeff Bezos spend his money on me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, we have to do the pin. We have to do the pin. Okay, hang on. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Justora. You're awesome. All right, so this is the crossroads. We're going to be here. We're going to be here quite a lot. Oh, you got it. Um, we're going to be here quite a lot uh, later on. But right now, we're just passing through on our way to Mulgor. Jane, by the way, you'll know since you played some MMOs, we're doing a very dangerous run right now. Um, we're doing a very dangerous run where we go through this uh, this higher level zone that's really like just a little bit too high for us to be running all the way through so that we can get down to Molgor, which is another starting zone. And we're going to do all of those starting zone quests. They're going to they're gray for us, but like it's going to be good to build up money. We will get some experience from it. So like it'll be good. It'll be good. So we're going to do Molgor quests. Oh, wait, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Hang on. We should pick up the flight path for here. I was so distracted. I was so distracted being so happy getting Bezos money. Um, I forgot to pick up the flight path. We got to pick up the flight path so we can easily traverse back. Instead of just only being able to fly straight to Orgrimmar. This will make things way better. <clears throat> Tiger Woo! I guess he's Tiger Woods. But dead! Okay. There we go. We got the flight path. I need that. What's our hearth set right now? It's set back at Gallows End. Okay. You got disconnected. I'm so sorry, Jane. I'm so sorry, but I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're back. Okay, so now, so that part of the run wasn't really too bad. That's actually like we're at the appropriate level to be walking through that area. We are not really at the appropriate level to be walking down this area. We got to get all the way down here to this flight path here, and then we'll cut over, and then we'll go to Mulgore over here. So that's what we got to do. And we, nothing, we got hopefully nothing will kill us on the way. There are 
centaurs that want to destroy our bodies. And there are alliance that um, want to eradicate us from this planet. So hopefully we do not run into any centaurs or the alliance pat. Yeah, so we're going to go do Mulgore today. We're going to go do Mulgore, uh, which is the Torin starting area. So we did the uh, we did the undead starting area. We've done the orc starting area. We've finished most of those. Like we're pretty far through them. But before we like fully finish them, because we're on like the hard quests in those areas now, like the ending quests of the area, we're gonna go back to Mulgore and do some starting quests. Right? Since this is hardcore, we want to play it safe. Oh, 16. Okay, so he's good. Yeah, this is a Torin. So Torins they have to run up to get through this to get to any other starting areas. So we were lucky, we had easy access to two starting areas before having to do this scary run to get to the third one. So yeah, we're gonna go do some Torin starting quests. We're gonna help them out. The Torrens are awesome, Jane. They actually have my favorite city in the whole game. Okay, Thunder Bluff is beautiful. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. It's like, it's such a good starting area, starting starting city. I'm, I'm like tearing up thinking about it. Um, hopefully we'll, I'll get to show it to you guys today, if depending on how far we get through this Torn starting area to get to the city. But like, okay, so you guys know, I played EverQuest back in the day. Um, you hate Thunder Bluff? Jastara. I don't think we can be friends. Okay, I don't think we can be friends. Okay, but I have my reasons. Let me tell my story. Okay. The first MMO I got su- Fucking Plane Strider. Get back on the road, Karen. The first MMO I got super, super into, like, absorbed my life all throughout high school. Um, Absolutely, like, hardcore played it. Loved it. Mm, it was EverQuest. Evercrack, I was addicted. I was, like, in the vein every day. Every day playing EverQuest. My favorite city in EverQuest... Um, was the Wood Elf starting city. Okay. It was up in the trees. It was all these platforms. It was beautiful. It had the best music. Okay. The music for this city, absolutely gorgeous. Still hits today. Still hits today. So I have this love. I have this love for like the elevated, like in the sky cities. Okay. You put a city inside some treetops. Okay. I'm like, Take me there. I want to live there. Okay. Thunder Bluff is the closest thing that WoW has to this type of city. Where it's like up. It's not in trees. It's on top of mesas. But still. It's gorgeous, beautiful, amazing. You have to traverse these bridges to get across it. You know, get a little bit of rush. Just a little tiny little rush. You know, running um, across the city. Right? It's the best. It's the best. Justora, there you are. There you are. So now you know Thunder Bluff. Thunder Bluff's the best city. It's the best city. And now you know why. Because it's amazing. <laughs> Is that a... Are you... Okay. I was trying to see if you were um, a lady undead or a guy undead. I think you're a lady undead. They actually look kind of similar. <laughs> it's the best city. <laughs> Jane, are you saying you want to d traverse my treetops? Is that what you're saying to me right now? <laughs> oh my gosh, we're almost to the other town. Hot. <clears throat> exactly what I heard. <laughs> okay, so... Um... Too bad WoW doesn't have a literal treetop city, but, you know, it does have Thunder Bluff, which is very close. Justora, why do you hate Thunder Bluff? Is it for all the reasons that I love it? Is that, is it, do you have, like, scary memories of falling off of Thunder Bluff? Camp Taraho, we made it! Okay. We just have, like, a tiny little bit more of Barrens to get through to get into Mulgore. And then it's going to be so much easier. Too many falls. Too many falls. The falls is what gives you life, though. Like, just knowing that you could fall at any time. Like, that's what makes it feel so good. The li li little bit of anxiety, you know? I want just, like, a little bit of anxiety in my life. I'm not happy 
if uh, if it's not a little bit too dangerous. All right, got this flight path too. Let's go. We gotta we gotta help out some Torin. They need our help with their quillbore problem. Okay, they got a serious quillbore problem. We gotta go help them. The thrill of the end. Yes. <laughs> You know, though, I see all these bodies. I see all these bodies in the uh, Undercity elevator. I don't see bodies underneath Thunder Bluff. I don't see bodies underneath Thumber Thunder Bluff. I don't know. Like, what's the difference? What's the difference? Oh, this person's doing the same thing. Thin Lizzie. Hello, Thin Lizzie. Welcome to the party. Um, it's a road party. <coughs> Here we go, Mulgore. The vast plains. This was um, ancestral night elf land that uh, the Torin eventually um, settled. The Torin were um, plains walkers, and uh, you know they they were kind of nomadic peoples. They settled here eventually. Beautiful zone. It just like all these this like green. It's like green, green, green everywhere. So gorgeous. Truly so gorgeous. Okay, there are some, like, um, centaurs here pathing. But if we stay on the road, we'll avoid all of them. Thank you so much for the lurk, guys. Thank you so much. We love our lurkers here. Are you headed towards Thunder Bluff? Oh, yeah. You you peeled off to Thunder Bluff. Good luck, friend. Have fun on your run. <laughs> we're, we're headed to the starting area. We're not going to stop by Thunder Bluff until it's time to go to Thunder Bluff. There's some kitty cats. Yeah. Some doggos. All right, their little starting area is this, these little hub of quests right here. So that's what we're headed to. This is the secondary area right here. We're gonna walk through for a second. And then um, we're gonna head, we're gonna head down. Since this is a starting area, this should be like pretty simple for a little bit, like trivial for a little bit before we get to anything challenging again. But this will help us like build up our money, our money, honey, so we can buy our skills Um, because I want to be able to pay my bills. Five work. Oh, no. Oh, nice. First BOE blue. <gasps> they died right after their first BOE blue. That's so sad. To a bail done rifleman, those bail done. Oh wait, the wrong one. No, to a bail done rifleman, those bail done get a lot of people. Ah, oh, deadly blunderbuss, and ashen veil got them. Blackheart hellcaller. Ah, oh, that's the that's the demons. The demons in ashen veil. A coal car, freaking centaur. Yeah. Ah, oh. those uh, those centaur get a lot of people. Those centaur get a lot of people. But because we're doing the starting area, we'll be a little overleveled, which is good. That's what you want in hardcore. You want to be a little overleveled, a little, a little bit too powerful, <laughs> just in case, you know, a little padding, <laughs> a little bit more cushion. <laughs> like, just look at this. Like, just look at how beautiful this is. All these, like, this vast green. And look at that pretty lake. What a nice little lake. It's actually the one of the better spots to, like, get your fishing stats started is this big lake right here. Stone Bull Lake. All right, we're almost there. We just got to go around this curve. It's, it's actually, it's right up there, but obviously we cannot climb up there. <laughs> Those sheer cliffs and that, like, like, uh, barrier, giant fence there. We got to go around. Don't worry, puppies. I'll be back to kill you later. Won't be long. Won't be long. I hope we see the pink plane strider so I can show you guys that. The pink plane strider is the best. 
It's like it looks like look like a flamingo, like a flamingo. And hunters can tame it so they can have a, a pink plain strider pet. It's the pinkest pet in the game, and you can get it so early on. It's awesome. Never mind too high level. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes that happens with those uh those sunscale raptor guys. Sometimes that happens. You know the only downside of Horde is that you can't easily get a little kitty cat critter pet to follow you. We have you can get snakes, you can get um prairie dogs, uh you can get a roach. You can get, what's the other one? There's a fourth one, I think. What is the orcs? Because the trolls is snakes, right? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure there's a fourth one, though, that you can get. So, like, the prairie dog. Oh, rabbits. You can get rabbits. I'm pretty sure you can get rabbits. The rabbits is, is pretty cute, but it's not as cute as a little kitty cat. That was one benefit of Alliance, is I could very early on get a little black kitty cat to follow me around, which I did. And I had, but we'd have to go to the neutral auction house and hope someone's selling one for us to get a little kitty cat. The only kitty cat um, horde could ease can easily. Well, it's not even easy that you can get um, a little bit easier is if you get cookie. If you kill cookie in dead mines, he'll drop a Siamese kitty cat sometimes, but it's a pretty rare drop. It takes a while to get him. So there's that. But we're not going all the way over to Westfall for Dead Minds the heck. No, not for a kitty cat, even though I want one. Okay, we made it. We made it, you guys. Okay, here we go. Torrens. Torrens, I'm here to prove that I'm not just a dirty undead. I know you don't fully trust me yet, but don't worry. You're going to trust me by the end of this. I'm here. I am here to help. I'm here to offer my services um, and help you guys out. So let's accept all these quests. Let's accept ah, all these quests. The okay. Let's go help some Torrens. First, we have to prove that we can be humble and go collect some water. Thirty-five. Oh no! Anyone for Voral's revenge? Ah. Died in Hillsbrad. Oh, crab gang. Crab gang, crab gang. Okay, let's get some let's get some plane striders on the way. Let's stabby stab. Maybe we'll let get some dagger skill ups. Cause we can stabby stab. I love plane striders. It's like WoW's version of Chocobos. Like they're the best. I hate that you kill them sometimes, because they're one of my favorite WoW animals. WoW has a lot of, like, kind of unique-ish animals, and this is one. <gasps> Avatif! Avatif, did you play WoW? Did you play WoW? Were you a WoW player? Oh my god, please tell me. I had no idea. I would love to hear more. Because I was addicted, girl. Vanilla, BC, and Wrath. All the way through addicted i had here's how addicted i was i had lore master achievement pre cata i had the lore master title pre cata i got it in wrath okay this is how much i was playing this game that i had time to do that kind of nonsense i was insane i was insane affidav which, which expansions did you play when did you play tell me about it i would like to know more this is hardcore by the way if we die we have to delete we cannot come back we cannot come back. And it's like official. It's official Blizzard Hardcore. So like there's literally nothing you can do. There's no appeal process. Nothing. You die, you're done. Like you you die, you are done. So we're trying not to die. So which is why we're all the way over in the tour and starting area, even though we're level 14. Because <laughs> um, we're doing all the starting areas. You know, why not? Get that extra XP. Get that extra XP. Extra um, silver, you know. 
it will come in handy. So we're here helping the Torrens. Um, hopefully bring them up from their neutral to us right now. Hopefully make them friendly so that they understand that they can trust me. I'm I'm not part of the scourge, okay? I'm not part of the scourge. I apologize for the smell deeply. There's nothing I can do about it, okay? It's just it's just my biology, you know. I hate it too. It didn't used to be like this until I, and then I died. You know, it's a whole thing. But like, I get it. And but also like this isn't me, okay? I I am a beautiful and trustworthy, okay? I am. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to prove it to these Torrens by helping them with their quillbore problem. And helping them with the stupid Venture Co. that everyone hates. Everyone hates the Venture Co. They're the worst. Well met. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're a clothy, so like none of the gear is going to be anything. It was too low level anyways, but still. It's, they're going to give us, like, all leather and mail over what in the Torin area. <clears throat> Alright, time to kill some kitty cats. I applaud you. I started in late 09 when the Lich King came out, but I was on the Horde side. Fuck yeah, of course you were, because you're cool. Alliance is smelly. Sorry, stinky Alliance. It's just true. It's just true. <clears throat> they don't bathe proper. They don't bathe proper. Humans and night elves both think that they don't stink and they don't need to wear deodorant, but they're wrong. Okay. You guys do need to wear deodorant just because your smells aren't as obvious. When you let it linger and fester like that, it's like, Ugh. okay, so like wear deodorant, please. Um, this is my tip to you. Lich King was the best, though. Honestly, Wrath was Wrath was the best. Best class balance in Wrath. I loved the raids in Wrath. It was awesome. It was so awesome. I kind of fell off after Wrath of the Lich King. I didn't really play much the other expansions. Like, I played Cat a little, played Panda a little. But, like, nothing really grabbed me again after those first three expansions. But I was, like, hardcore into it. Like, literally, I remember I started playing over Fall Break. It was fall break from um, from college in 2004. I'm pretty sure. And I started playing it and just like thought it was the best thing ever. If it wasn't fall break, it was Christmas break. I mean, it was a long time ago, so I might be slightly inaccurate, but it was like around there. And my main for most of it was a Blood Elf Warlock. But before that in Classic, it was a Torin Druid. And I played some Alliance too. Like I had a, a human um, priest for a bit, you know, some things like that. But mostly those two were the characters I was playing. I wish I started when it all started. We had poo for internet. Not many of my friends were gamers. Yeah, I think not having very good internet was a was a big barrier. Because even though you didn't need a nice computer to run WoW, you still needed like decent internet. If you didn't have decent internet, like the game didn't work. But you know what? They have ERA now. Like you can play Classic now, and it's like the original original game. So if you played it now, it would be the same as then. And honestly, like, it is popping off right now. Like, it is popping off. It is so popular. But this is, um, what I'm playing right now is on the class, the hardcore servers, which is where, like, you die, you have to start all over. But they have regular classic era servers, too, that aren't like that. Like, dying is just normal, and then you spirit heal like you would regularly. <clears throat> and the way that hardcore works is if you die, you can, they will like let you freely transfer your character over to one of the regular classic era servers. So like you don't completely lose the character unless you want to. 
because they will let you do a free server transfer to the non-hardcore servers. So yeah, playing now is like, is just like when it all started, you know, it's just like when it all started. True, Jane, true. True. Avatif and Jane, you should both uh you should both get it and roll roll with me. Play with me. <laughs> it would be very cool of you. Jane, I know you don't like you're not like into the MMO part of the MMOs. I can't tell you nothing about classic era roleplay. <laughs> I have no idea. I know on retail it's all about Moonguard, but they're like weird. They've got a weird reputation, as you know. I'm sure you have heard. <laughs> oh, speaking of roleplay, Affetif, if you haven't heard, um, Jane, Kendra, and Noms all opened a new um, roleplay. It's uh, Wild West, uh, Vampires and Werewolves. So if you're interested, let Jane know. Um, she can drop you a link. There's also a link to it in the Discord. I don't know if you're looking for a group right now or anything like that, but uh, they did just start it. It's only been going for like one or two weeks. Yeah, like, like two weeks, I think. A little less than two weeks. Anyway, it's fire. It's awesome. I love it. Yeehaw indeed. Yee fucking haw. Two weeks? Okay. That's what I thought. Like, it's not been that long. It's not been that long. Yeah, I love it. I think the concept is amazing. It's like, it's like structured, but it's free. Like, it's like... It's like hits that nice, it hits that sweet spot. You know what I'm saying? It is that really good sweet spot. Like, um, for the way, the way that a non-fandom roleplay should be set up, in my opinion. <clears throat> so masterful. Very good. Okay, so here's part of their quill bore problem over here. So we need to go, we need to go help them by um, killing these, uh, these quill boars. We learned it all from you, <laughs> girl. I mean, yeah, but no. I mean, yeah, but no. Like, y'all bring your own stuff, too. You'll bring your own stuff, too. It's not like you started role-playing when you met me, you know what I'm saying? So it's like a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Yeah, the genius stroke for this one, the genius stroke for this one is that humans have powers too. Honestly, like, that's the genius part. Powers for humans. So we actually have more humans, human characters, than vampire or werewolf characters, which blows my mind, but it's awesome. Oh no, I didn't empty my inventory! Okay, we have to run back. We have to run back and empty our inventory. I forgot... I f look, it's so full. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so full. It's so full. I think you're gonna level we have planned, but then no spoilers. Okay, okay, okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, but we have to run back. We have to run back. This is a problem. We had to sell all this shit. <clears throat> Haven't roleplayed in quite some time, so if you're okay with newbies, I, I'm i sure that they are. They usually are totally cool with newbies. Is that an upgrade? That is an upgrade! This isn't, no, because I got a green there. What is this? Oh, some malachite. We can disenchant that. Okay, 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 okay. We have to sell most of this nonsense, though. We gotta sell most of it. I can't believe I forgot to sell before running over to the quill boars. Bull Schmidt. Oh, that's a good name. That's a good name. <laughs> that's a good name. Leaf Jim? Okay. 
I don't know about that name. Okay, I'm um, sorry, lady. You're gonna have to buy all my junk. I'm so sorry to dump all of this on you. Let's see, wait. What back do I have? Oh, I have a green. I have a green. Uh, this, this, this. Yeah, this. This. Okay. All right. May the eternal sun shine upon thee. And then, um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, bartender, bartender. I need my bar three. Okay, ooh, you're too high. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. Get down here. Okay. Oof. No, 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 no. Down here, down here. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Disenchant you. Okay, now we can go fuck up some quill bores. Okay. These quill bores won't even know what hit them. They're gonna, they're gonna know. They're not gonna know nothing. We're gonna destroy them. I'm ready now. Got empty bags. It's good. Well, there's some people on in the guild now. Just invited these two guys. This is the guild leader right here, Price. He's pretty cool. See how he's a 29 and a warrior? That's true hardcore. Warrior? Man. Yes. Oh my god. Warrior's the hardest. I would never. I would be too chicken. I'd be like, no. <laughs> it also doesn't hurt that I don't really like warrior that much. But, I mean, they're awesome at higher levels once you've leveled them up, but they're kind of annoying to level, in my personal opinion. But in classic, their damage is like, I mean, once they're, once they're like 60 and they're kitted, oh my god. Oh my god, they're insane. OP. Class balance in classic is not so great. <laughs> not so great. Um, but yeah, to level them, mm, I don't know. So I don't think I would ever do a warrior. But I have um, immense, um, but I have uh, immense uh, respect for people rolling warriors in hardcore. Okay, back to killing. I need blood. All right, we gotta get there. We gotta get their chief, chief, chief sharp tusk, thorn mantle. We gotta fuck him up. He's not gonna know. He's gonna be so surprised. Oh, someone's already rolling through here. Hello, sir. I was a paladin as my main. I can't remember what my second was. That's awesome. Paladins, um, paladins are pretty cool, but they were, they're alliance only in classic. It's not until later that anyone can play paladin. Here, I help you. Die. Die. Eh. Eh. See, so yeah, I really never played much with paladins because... In uh, in classic and BC, like you can't you can't roll them on horde. Was it wrath when they added paladins to horde, or was it cataclysm? I cannot remember. I cannot remember. It might have been cataclysm where they added paladins to horde, and then, and then shamans to to alliance. So alliance got to shaman it up. And I'm fucking up all the spawn rates for these poor people. For these poor people that are actually the right level for this area. I'm sorry, friends. I'm sorry. They're like all gonna all gonna spawn again at once. This is my bad. It's my bad. <clears throat> I 
I love that you can single pull that the leader doesn't come as well, which kind of blows my mind, but that's you can pull that guy away without the leader coming. Come on. Don't go that. Let's loss him out. Come out of your home. There we go. Okay. And you can single pull this guy too, even though he's like standing right next to the leader. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, but you can do that. I guess because otherwise it would be too hard. <laughs> it would be too hard to get the chief when you're actually at level because he's level five and you're in here at like level four and level five. Like, so I guess that's why. All right, we killed their leader. You guys can um, fall into despair now. Quillbores, I got your leader. He's dead. You can move on now from these lands. Go consolidate with other tribes in the barrens or something. You're not wanted here anymore. It's too far away. This little cave right here is so annoying to do at level. <clears throat> because there's these, both of these. There's Squealer and there's a little Shaman in here. But we're super high level, so we're just going to roll in. Just going to roll in. Guns a blazing. And they're done. And they're done. Don't you respawn immediately, Mr. Squealer. I know you're a name. Do you want to? Don't do it. Let me loot this shit. Because I'll kill you again. I'll do it. If you have a warrior for Torin, you definitely want to do this quest and get, get a shield. Get a shield really early on. Even though it's kind of dangerous to get in there. All right, so we need a couple more belts and a couple more flanks, so... Even though I already killed your leader, some of you guys have to die still. Sorry. We're just gonna kill on our way out. Goodbye, Mr. Quillbore. Sorry about it. But I need to get so many of your belts. It's too far away. I'm out of range. Get dead. And there's more of the boars outside, so we just gotta run out now. Why isn't Questy updating? Wait, do I have? Have I finished those and Questy's just not updating? Yes. No. No, five and seven. That's right. Oh, and I only have 11 belts. We need another belt. Sorry, boars. A few, a few more of you maybe have to die. Hopefully just one. Lunar, hello. How's it going, friend? Girl, you know what I realized watching your stream the other day? You are probably um, the top Wolf Quest streamer. Because <laughs> um, I like was checking out that category and like seeing what was up with it, you know, um, and and that sort of thing uh, from your stream yesterday. And I kind of like this kind of kind of like dawned on me of like, oh, I think Lunar is the the top Wolf Quest Quest streamer on this website. This run has been intense, by the way. This particular wolf quest run with Clover and her pups has been very intense. <laughs> I feel like more so than when I've watched you play this game other times. It's going well. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it might be true. I think it might be true. Because it's a fairly niche game. All right. 
right, drop your shit. Okay, we just need one more nose. Piggy, 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 let me cut off your nose. Come here. How are you doing, by the way? Are you having a good weekend? All right, so we did all those. Let's go turn this. Let's go turn these in. We can't forget to sell our shit. <laughs> Empty our bags this time. Three pups so far. Yes. So is it? It's Leo, Meow, and Kitty, right? There we go. If y'all aren't following Lunar, what the heck? You should be. I don't know what's wrong with you. So go fix that if you're not. If you like my streams, you would like hers. That's just true. <clears throat> Man, I gained a, I got a lot of rested XP going during the week. This is where it ends, finally. I couldn't even see where it ended before. We got a lot. Yeah, those three. Okay, I had the right ones. All right, Torrens. I took care of your quill bore problem. Do you trust me now? I think you should. I've proven that I'm not just a scourge. I am a forsaken. They are real. Okay, and I'm one of them. I'm cool. You wish to speak? So after I turn all this in, do you trust me? With the Earth Mother. They don't trust me yet, you guys. They don't trust me yet. I'm still neutral. I'm still neutral to Thunder Bluff. <laughs> You'll trust me. You'll trust me soon. I love you, Torrens. I think you're so cool. You are the cow level. Which is the best. And you do exist. So, you have to trust me at some point. <clears throat> Alright, so now that we've helped them with this quill bore problem here, we're gonna move on. And we're gonna help them out with some more um some more quill bores, but we're also gonna help them out with the, the venture co. With the venture co. Oh, Lunar and um and I see a few more we have a few more viewers in here from before, some lurkers. We appreciate that. I love you guys. Um I've got a poll going right now. I would love for if you would vote. This today was the last planned. Um hardcore wow stream so i want to know are we should we continue hardcore wow um until karen bites it um like just keep going you know for however many more streams um i forgot to empty my bags again um should we keep doing that or should we go back to our sims 2 legacy challenge i would like to know what you guys think so vote vote please because that will help me figure out what i want to do um, for my other streams. Next week, we're doing our a podcast. Our podcast, we're going to talk about Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. It's going to be really super cool. Um, but then, of course, afterwards, we play a game after the podcast. So I want to know, should we be playing WoW or should we be, we be playing our Sims 2 Legacy Challenge? I even said to myself, don't forget to empty your bags, Karen, because I knew. I knew they were full up like this. And then I just forgot again. Let's see, is any of this green? That's a quest item, quest item. Is any of this greens I should disenchant? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Yeah, no, 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 no greens. Okay. I'm sorry, lady, I need you to buy my junk again. I have no use for this crap. There we go. 
Okay, all sold. Now we can proceed. That is the only thing about hardcore is like you end up you end up with rocking six slot bags for a bit. <laughs> I did get um some wool bags, some eight slots on my druid. Uh and I can I can make eight slots. Chimerica. Okay, we'll have to see if they're stinky alliance or not. Like I can make the wool bags, but I gotta get wool. I gotta get wool to make the wool bags. America's stinky alliance. No congratulations for you. <clears throat> I'm going to turn on the, uh, looking for a group chat because they'll tell me there'll be people start saying grats and then people will be like alliance 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 Greetings. don't grats them they can't hear you all right now we can head over to bloodhoof village so it's we're gonna we're gonna go over to here Let's see. I really need wool, but it's going to be a minute before I get wool. So I guess when I, for the linen that I have, I can just keep ma making brown linen cloaks and disenchanting them, or brown linen robes and disenchanting them. So I guess I can use the linen for that. Because um, Nyan Kitty doesn't need linen anymore either. She's already got her, uh, she's already working on wool bandages for her first aid. And that's where we are with first aid with this girly too. So... Yeah, I think. Because I've got more linen bandages in my bank, I'm pretty sure. So I think we just we just make robes. We just make robes and disenchant them. I need to make my rune silver rod. I need to get a... um. I have the shadow gem. And I will have these once I disenchant some more stuff. But I need the silver rod. I'm going to have to get a silver rod at some point. From a black, I think blacksmiths make those. Make those, so I have to get that from a blacksmith. It's Bloodhoof Village, you guys. I love this little village. It's so cute. Look at these kodos. Wait, when you walk near a kodo, watch this. It's shake, screen shake. I love that. Classic has so much flavor, so much like roleplay flavor that kind of like doesn't exist so much in retail. Like how if you're playing a druid, you can't like talk to people when you're in bear form. You have to like you have to come out of bear form to talk to people or it forces you out of bear form when it's time to talk to people. Because bears don't talk. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I love that. I love the flavor. All right, lots more quests to do. Let's keep helping out the Torrens. They don't trust us yet. They don't trust us yet. We have to earn their trust. They think we stink like the Scourge, but we don't. We have to convince them How may I aid you? that that's not the case. Well met. We shall meet again. Wills be at your back. Hail. Goodbye. Go in peace. Ah, I've been expecting. Oh, I have to choose. Okay. Go. Let's set our hearth here as well. Since we got flight path for the crossroads and everything, like, we're okay. We're okay to have our hearth here. While we're questing for Bloodhoof.
What's up, Zarlman? How's it going? The winds guide you. Okay, it looks like one more quest in here. Just listen to how cool this music is. God, I love the Torrens. They're so cool. Guys, why don't you trust me? Don't worry, I'll earn it. I'll earn it. Okay. So, I think that was... Yeah, that was all the quests. Alright, so less time to do them. Let's do them. We pick some acorns up. Ambercorns. I think there's another quest for killing wolves. That's so we so it's not just the prairie heart, but now I can't remember. I think we're I'm gonna wait. Kill wolves in a little bit. Oh, but this one wants to die now. Okay. Fine, sir. I will grant your wish. I'm sorry, Lunar. I'm sorry. We have to. We have to. We need the wolf heart. We need the heart. It's just how it works. It's just how it works. But it's okay. It's okay, Lunar. What we're going to do first is kill stinky gnolls. They're wolves, but on two legs. <laughs> They're wolves, but on two legs. So it's okay to kill them. Right? Don't you agree? They're terrible. Pale manes. They suck. All they want to do is kill me. I kill them. Alright, let's go over to the other camp, actually. Let's kill there. Yeah, pale mane. These are pale mane gnolls. They're the gnolls that live in Mulgor. And they're awful. They're bad people. They want to take over our lands. And they're willing to work for the Venture Co., which is literally destroying the um, destroying the ecosystem. It's like Venture Co. is literally evil. Bad people. There's a named here. Where is he? Is he up? I don't see him. I, maybe he's at the other camp. Anyway, like everybody, all the like low level Torrens die to him. They think they can take him. They can't. He kills them like all the time. I see like level six and sevens. Oh, tree bud, poor tree bud. Probably died to the um, I think it's snaggle snout or something like that. Anyway, they all die to him. We're over leveled, so we probably actually could kill him. But you know, I'm not gonna worry about it. You don't need to kill him. There's no quest for killing him or anything. They're just quests for killing his buddies here. Die! Die, Skinner. At least this is helping me level up my daggers also. Come into this, um, this kind of like too low level area. more bones to gnaw on. You can gnaw my bones. You crazy. You crazy. It's not happening. It is not happening, friend. I gnaw on your bones. Stabby, stabby. Oh, I leveled up. I can get... <gasps> okay, wait, wait, wait. I need to spend my point. I need to spend my point so I can get... Yes, instant cast corruption. I need it. Watch this. I can run, 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 and cast. 
I can do corruption while I run. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Get him, get him, get him. Okay, this is the last poacher we need. We still need skinners and tanners. A poacher, that's a tanner. That's a skinner. Okay, let's get him. Thank you so much for the lurk lunar. We love our lurkers here. Come here. Join the party, friend. We're having so much fun. Don't you heal? That's against the rules. You cheat. Okay, now that we got all the poachers, we're gonna head back to the other camp for more skinners and tanners. So I don't think I don't think there's even any tanner spawns at this camp. If there are, there's not very many. Oh, level 26, that hurts. Ashenvale Sentinel, no! <gasps> Ashenvale's so dangerous for the Hordes. It's not fair what Alliance do to them. They don't deserve that. I'm out of range. All right, let's decimate this camp. There he is, Snagglespear, that guy. So many, like, low-level Torrens die to him. So, so many. They think they can take him, and they can't. Like, they accidentally pull him, they're like, I got this, they ain't got this. They ain't got it. We need some more tanners. Normally you wouldn't want to pull these ones at the camp, but I'm over leveled, so I think we'll be we're fine to pull them. It's a skinner. It's a tanner over there. What is that? Oh, that's a skinner. Okay. Let's get this tanner. If you're like at the at level, Snaggle Spear would definitely pull standing this close. Okay. Got that. Let's kill some beasties next. Some plane striders and swoops and stuff. <clears throat> okay, we need, from the plane striders, we need this, their scale. And from swoops, we need a swoop gizzard, but we also need some trophy swoop quills. I feel like that if I remember correctly from last time I did this zone, the trophy swoop quills do not drop very often. So we might want to go ahead and start. Puntera. Stinky Alliance. No grats for you. Ah! 
Yay, we got the scale. Okay. It's my bags. Only half full. To this well over here and get some well stones. This is our we're gonna be our first encounter with the Venture Co. So aw. Handela, poor Torin lady. Um, the Venture Co. is basically trying to to mine the world. They're um, they're greedy and dirty, and uh, they want to destroy everything for their profits. And we're not going to let them. We're gonna we're gonna start the fight against the Venture Co. here in Mulgore. Oh, why are you just standing there, Bullschmidt? Hi. I'm out of range. Don't worry, I'll destroy them all. I'll do it for you, Bullschmidt. Now you can get to the stones. Okay, there's lots of stones here. I kill these. Now stones for everybody. Let's go turn these in. I just, I feel like one of these turns into like a wolf killing quest. And I'd rather have that at the same time that I'm doing the prairie wolf heart. I think if I turn in the, um, the sharing the land or the right of vision, I'm not sure which it'll lead to that. Greetings. So not that one. Maybe this one? Hey, go. Oh no, this is the... We have to run up to the other area. Okay, well, let's do this. Um, we're gonna sit, we're gonna sit here by the fire for a second. I am gonna take um, a stretch break, okay? Um, and while I'm doing that, you guys are gonna watch some funny videos. Okay, so. For those watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.